Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a profit pack kit in 148 scale and it copies Sofit F1 Camel clear get engine and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review so it will be interesting to open this model and check what is actually supplied inside. So first of all I have to note the really beautiful box art here is can see it features quite I would say a large air battle so that's why it looks impressive in my opinion and of course you can get it as an Edward product so it's also a really good thing I'm just not sure where I got all the dust on my table nevertheless so box size is quite typical for world war one aircraft from edward in 148 scale here you can see comparison with my hand on the side here you can see some safety devices and address of the manufacturer while on the opposite side you will find five marking options which are included here and note that it's quite funny touch that uh, lower markings are depicted as on the earth while top ones are like flying so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside as you can see there is plenty of space and we have a lot of spare parts in case you missed the previous reviews with this aircraft model and you will be quite nicely surprised with this kit because there is a lot of stuff which you can use in the next projects or maybe to assemble a completely different version if you would like to. So we are going to start with a clear plastic sprue, here as you can see we have all necessary parts for the aircraft and I have to say that molding quality looks really good. There is nothing to worry about and I think it's just a matter of careful installation and of course we have masks because this is a profit pack so that's why all these parts will be covered out of the box both literally and not literally as well so just give me a second to open another plastic bag because here I'm a bit confused it should be receivable plastic bag yeah now I found the flap so it will be easy to do and here we have several plastic sprues so we are going to start with the first one they are all the same in the size so there are no like the biggest plastic sprue or the smallest one but here we are going to start from one of the corners so here we have wing parts and because this is a biplane be ready to have both wings as a single piece parts we also have several fuselage halves so here you can see first pair but there is also another fuselage half version so you will see it a bit later and I would say that external features they look quite nice so the attachment points are quite thin and note that ailerons are molded separately and here by the way you can see another fuselage half which I was just talking about and if I flip it over inside you'll find a minor cockpit features but I think that's more than enough for a 148 scale aircraft and let's not forget that we deal with a profit pack so it means we will also get some PE parts to be installed here and there Next we continue with another plastic sprue, so here we have a mix of various parts. First of all it's really hard to miss the four types of the front cooling section and it will depend on the engine you choose, but as you remember here we have clear get engine. And we also have several types of the landing gear struts, several types of the landing gear wheels, uh, several types of the tail fairing, etc, etc. And that's really cool because uh, Edward decided not to, let's say, cheat somehow here. They just give you all the parts and you're free to do whatever you would like to. And of course, it's a really good thing to save them for your next build. By the way, you can see that even the tiniest parts are molded nicely. And let's not, so let's say, discount the fact that it's a 148 scale World War One aircraft so it will be quite tiny and do not be fooled by the um, scale digits I would say scale numbers because it's really small aircraft and even 148 scale is not that big for this type 
Next, we continue with the last gray plastic sprue. So this one is notable because it provides us with several engine types. That's why I was saying that you can copy any type you would like to. There are also two types of the propellers. Some uh, versions of the cockpit elements are also included here. So if I zoom in again, here you can see one of the corners and engine parts out of the box. They look really beautiful. So it's just a matter of careful assembly. And I think maybe some P parts will be used as well. So you just have to assemble everything together. And again, just to remind you about the size of these parts here, you can see comparison with my fingertip. They're really tiny. So be ready to work with some tools maybe because some parts, they will be tricky to handle with bare fingers. And it's better to use the right tools to install them into the right spots without any additional, let's say, pain and uh, time wasting. Next, we continue with the mask sheet. So here we have pre-cut masks for clear parts and also for landing gear wheels. Here you can see them closer. And I would say this is a typical Edward bonus, which is really handy because it will give you a nice paint work without any unnecessary time wasting, as I said before. And next we continue with another thing. So here we have a small P fret, which is pre-painted by the way. And we also have glazing on dials, which is also cool in 148 scale. It will be a noticeable feature. And note that some P parts are really small, so again, you will have to work with tweezers, you won't be able to avoid it, do not even think about it. Next we continue with decal sheet, so just give me a second to open it. There is only one decal sheet as far as you can see, but it fits all the necessary symbols for this um, product. And there are five marking options as you remember. And of course decals are printed in Edward, so printing quality seems to be nice. And maybe some of these symbols can be even copied with masks if you are able to cut such shapes because for example these blue lines you can easily them do them with the help of masks. But it's also nice that we have uh, all decals pre-cut into the necessary sections so you won't have to jump around with these roundels trying to uh, comprehend how to separate them. So this is a good feature. And next we continue with the assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of, uh, I would say, large color printed brochure. And as you can see, it's on glossy paper. We have short history note on the first page. Next we continue with the parts map and blue color means that these parts will not be used. So here you can take a look at how many parts will stay in your spare parts box. The assembly process starts with the pilot seat. Do not forget that you can replace it with the help of brassine upgrade set. And then we continue with the cockpit floor, also cockpit walls. Here we join fuselage halves together and note that some parts do not have to be glued, so pay attention to this. Next we continue with engine parts. We assemble the engine and install it together with the cooling. Then we assemble machine guns. And by the way, cooling jackets of the machine guns will be upgraded with PE parts as well. Next, we continue with wings, tail fairing, separate elevators. Next, we have wing struts and top wing. Here we continue with landing gear, so pay attention because a landing gear struts choice will depend on the marking option you choose, so it's really important. And of course, rigging, it will be quite a lot of fun, I would say, so um, I mean, you should consider this as something you cannot avoid and in 148 scale it's even more tricky than in 132nd scale. Next we continue with the first marking option, it comes from July 1918 and two more aircraft are also from July and from November 1917 and 1918. This one is from 17, as you can see quite nice striped bonnet. Next we have two aircraft from September 1980 and this one is only from September but I guess also from 1918. And one more page brings us a list of original accessories, brassine sets and some PE uh, upgrade sets which will add more features to your aircraft model. So this kit should be already available together with the original accessories on official Edward website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.